Well, yes, I'd like to continue, of course. Of course. Well, aren't you eager? Unfortunately, there's not much left to do in this place, so I'll be leaving it sh shortly. As you may have noticed, this Charlotte wasn't the child you wanted to save. Or that you actually would like her more than the Charlotte Wilshire you've been around for so long. Uh, I said it from the beginning, this Charlotte is different. This Charlotte is... No... Uh, I wanted to say wrong, because she wanted to hurt people. She wanted to... She was childish and nagging on people when they didn't give her attention, like a child, and then destroying things. But I can't just say it's wrong, even though it's not a person I'm talking about, it's just a character in a game. But I'm sticking to it, the Charlotte I know from the first and the second episode. Our Charlotte, our Charlotte is important. Just like I thought. The Charlotte you met first is the one who matters the most. Well, aren't you loyal? You must be. You must have many questions as to why I led you to this particular story to begin with. But do believe me, it's vital to have for, to understanding everything that will happen from now on. You surely didn't think that we were going to travel in this time and change the outcome of prior events, did you? Because if you did, that would be rather unfortunate after all. Like I've said before, there's no such thing as running time in the house. One story ends, another one begins, and then it's a circle of life. You know how it goes with games. You can always start a new one. System node, is a new story. Please activate the menu from the title menu. What? New story? What happens then? Will it be the same? I don't know. It is different. This world is clad in white and red. The awakened one sings a song of hatred and despair. I hear something else singing in my ear right now as she drains the color from the breathless bodies. In the deafening cacophony of paint screams, as I say a silent prayer. Scarlet. Hello Charlotte, episode 3, Charlotte that's end. This music is very disturbing, please stop it. It must definitely have us over me, sneering. Let's play hide and seek, shall we? I give you three attempts. She sings songs, caressing my sheep. I feel something crawl into my ear, but I'm frozen in terror. It's futile to resist. Run, little girl, she says. Let's meet my mother is. I don't want to. <laughs> I have to hide. We're not with blood leaking like that. Oh god. It's another Charlotte. Is it? What the hell? You don't have to write the right to be dead. Not after you, what you've done. You absolute freak show. Psycho. Murderer. No, no, she can't be dead. After I've seen what she's capable of. No, it can't be. I've seen her die before multiple times. Hey, you, you're here, right? The one who was pulling the strings. Me? Confirm you are. Yes, I see. Just as she said then. You really do exist. Please, please help! They help me find a place to hide. I'm injured and Wilshire might be still looking for me. I can't afford to die here. After she... After everyone... <laughs> Child vomits on the floor. <laughs> the monster! The only problem is that I've restricted access to all the areas in the house. However, the, the, we have this corpse. This, this might be not be a problem. What? Thankfully, I only need an eye. 
What? Box cut up? Oh no. Oh yes, the eye scared and everything. I cried the child's eye. Oh, it's disgusting. Well, you don't have to tell me that. Let's go to the elevator. System notes. Switching control strings from Charlotte to Scarlet. With Scarlet minimalist worldview, you'll be able to see the house in a new light. Will I? I have endless save files. I like that. Oh god. An eye scanner, huh? Well then, she was nothing. Then she looked at eye scan. Eye scan successful. Oh, great. <laughs> we need to go to this first floor. Never gone there before, but now that you're with me, I think we'll be fine. Are you sure about that? Please hurry. Mm hmm. There's an agent reached. We're gonna die. All right, if you plan to stick around, how about I give you tasks from now on? You give me tasks? I'm sorry, what? It should be easier to navigate that way. So, find a way to enter the rooms on... We can't go back to second floor. So this is the only place we can hide. Well... <laughs> enter the wind shop. Yes. Storage room? Oh, blood. <coughs> Ow. Spark starts to dance before my eyes. This room will do. I think I can rest here yeah, just a little. God, this game never stops. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but I really can't wrap my head around this. When I open my eyes, the lights blind me. Have I died? You have 10 seconds to explain yourself. Felix! Are you are you one of the good Felix? You are always the good Felix. Felix, let me hug you. <laughs> I really liked him from the, from the second episode. I mean, the first episode he was kind of cold because they got to know each other. And I like him. I just like this character. Otherwise, I'm activating the security system. Now, I'm fairly sure that after that doesn't have pink head midges threatening me. 10, 9, 8. Shh, shh, shh. Covered about his mouth with my hand, selling some. Mm -hmm. Quiet. She might hear us. What? What? Who are you talking about? Child Witcher. Do you know her? I do. So? Is she here? No, she isn't. She hasn't come home yet. Oh my. Oh god. Oh no. I have to run. I will probably get up only to win some pain. Can you kindly calm, can, can you calm the fuck down? <laughs> I like that, that, that sentence. Can, can you calm? Kindly calm the fuck down. Which her isn't here and I'm not her associate, okay? Oh, my ears. Keep your language in cheek, will you? You're not positioned to lecture me, miss. I threatened... I treated you... I threatened you. I treated you once. Why... Where's my thank you, Mr. Onika? Onika? As in Felix Onika? Why, yes. So? I once read a novel with a character named Dad. Not again. Yes, yes, I know. I've read it too. Let's never talk about this again. Also, that was a sensitive subject. It's nice to meet you. I'm Scarlet Isla. I'm sorry that I was threatened, but I don't care. Felix is alright. Felix, Felix is life. Felix is the goal of this game. <laughs> and the normal Charlotte. <clears throat> and C. Vincent. I'm sorry for being rude earlier. I just panicked. I. Alright, alright, I understand. What did she do this time? What do you mean? No, it doesn't matter. Charlotte Wiltshire murdered every single person on the second floor. Oh. That takes some talent. So you're the sole survivor? Yes, she wanted to play hide and seek, so she let me go. She's seriously messed up, saying things like I'll meet you where mother is. What could, what could it possibly mean? She couldn't have possibly meant by my mother, because... My mother is kind, beautiful, understanding. Do you have parents, Mr. Annika? I'm not so sure anymore. He turns away, his voice becoming eerily quiet. I decide not to press him further. I have an uncle, though. I see. Say, are there any other people on this floor aside from you and your uncle? Hey, hold your horses. The fact that I've tended your wounds doesn't mean that we are on a friendly terms now. Why should I trust you? If anything, we should quarantine you in case you, you brought contagious diseases from the second floor. I'm fairly sure I'm not contagious. Like I said, we can't be sure. 
No one here is allowed on second floor, which I excluded. So you've never been to school? School? What's that? <laughs> no ones are treated by a kid without a degree. What good will a piece of paper with a signature do you? Look, you aren't cutting blood anymore. Isn't that evidence enough? You're right. I'm sorry. Never mind that. Sleep for now. If you do anything funny, Mr. Bennett will break your neck with a TV remote. How is that possible? This Mr. Bennett sounds like a scary person. Well, not. He's fairly adorable when he's on soap. What? If you try to leave this room, the doors will burn you to death. <laughs> Casual. But I bring you food and so that you won't starve. Any preferences? No, not really. Just, she just wants to live. All right. I'll be back in a few hours to check on you, Miss Isla. I'm a patient for now, so rest assured. No one will, here will harm you. Okay. I want to believe him. So it was a good idea to go in, into the vent. Because I, when I played the charted thingy, it just went something with the vent, something with the vent. And I just thought, hey, there's the vent. Miss Annika leaves the room. Is that the ceiling? Hey, Puppeteer. Thank you for having me get here. It worked out somehow, didn't it? I think I need a name to refer you by. How did Lilith sound? What you prefer, Seth? Lilith was, yes, I know, the thing for, for girls and everything. But since the first episode, we were Seth. So I'm gonna go with Seth. Alright, Seth it is. It was my father's name, shut up. You know, I have memories of the true realm. It's a place that's nothing like this world. In that realm, I didn't even have a physical body of my own. No one was my own person. Here, everything changed. But even though I have these memories, I don't feel a connection to them as if they don't belong to me anymore. Or perhaps they didn't in the first place. I need to drink something. <clears throat> Still, I feel like I should apologize to the person Scarlet Isla of that word hurt the most. However, no matter where I look, I can't find them anywhere. Sorry, I'm rambling my thoughts. I need to rest. Good night, Seth. Would you like to save your progress? Yes, always safe. Always safe. I dreamt of piles of bodies. Casual. Soaked in red. With Charlotte Wiltshire. Sitting atop of them. Find me, Scarlet Isla, she says. Let's meet where mother is. Pushing me down, hovering about me, above me, Charlotte Wiltshire is crying. Crying? I wake up in cold sweat. Alright, already? Mr. Annika. Morning, Miss Isla. So a bad dream? More like a nightmare. I... I have to find Wiltshire. No? Huh? Why so sudden? Weren't you hiding from her? I just remembered something. Huh. And well, after you've finished with my treatment, I have nowhere to go. Everyone I knew is dead. One wrong step in the doors will evaporate me. And now which is playing in my dreams. I'll find her and get it over with. <laughs> how do you plan to do that? And when you find her, how are you sure that she won't kill you? I haven't thought about it yet. But I want to understand her. I'm afraid the logic behind your decisions is kind of wonky to me. You can't understand. You weren't there. She's not... No human. Charlotte Witcher is a monstrosity. She had her t hair turned into enormous meaty appendages that she stabbed everyone with. As if a tumor grew on her body. Wait, appendages? A tumor? I might know what you're talking about. The thingy from the oracle? Please follow me. Here, I'll help you get up. Take the IV with you. So they get up and follow Mr. Annika. Okay, we're taking a trip. I don't know what that is. It looks disgusting. I don't want to get near it. What is this? Organic matter infected with a parasite. We are able to extract the. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Wait a second. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. 
my throat. Oh. <clears throat> we were able to extract it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I, I can't read the sentence. <clears throat> it's like my body is resisting against it. <clears throat> Alright. We were able to extract it out of Miss Witches while she was sleeping. There we got it. Killed her in the process, but she respawned anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. But there's a whole pool of it. I know. After that pain attained the host, it kept growing like a tumor. We were able to contain it because the host isn't scented in any way. It just is very disturbing. But a scented house to feed on. However, the parasite can manipulate the fabric of time and space. I call it the Oracle. You mean the Oracle we went to in the first episode and now... No, I think he may be called it that way because it did that thing to Charlotte in the first place. I don't know. I think the story of Felix would be very interesting to get into. I would love a, a, a little game of Hella Charlotte where we have purely his um, point of view from the very start of episode one. It would be so interesting. Like intervening sometimes with Charlotte and then don't and then um, understanding his... I, uh, I should um, talk about this later, I'm sorry. Oh, if it's this powerful then can I become a host? Why would you want that? What? You have to be kidding me, right? Were you listening to what I just said? Yes, I was. I'm pretty sure this is the same person which I used to cause this massacre. If I become its host, I'll be able to... Did the sleeping pills impair your thinking process? Miss Anna, it... It's basically suicide. I want her to agree, but all that comes out of my mouth is... It doesn't matter. Huh? No, I... Find me, Scarlet Isla. Just please, I have to find Witcher, no matter what. I need the Oracle to face an unequal. No, no. What in the world am I saying? Indeed, what are you saying? If you say so. Huh? He agreed? We've only met yesterday, no, I'm a friend, so I'm not really in any position to argue. Besides, I... No, it doesn't really matter. I'll do it. So let's go. Can't you just push her into it? By the way, you seem to be quite knowledgeable about the Witcher. I've been monitoring for a while. Have you ever seen anyone die a gruesome death and have an exact copy of them walk in like nothing happened a minute after? There's something seriously off about that. Right. I thought the same way. Plus, Miss Witcher herself is mentally unstable. She seemed to be adamant of the conviction that all of the house's inhabitants are NPCs. NPCs? Non-player characters. Apparently she strongly believed that this world is a game. Is that so? That's ridiculous. Although what she said about puberty was true, so what if... I need to take one of the vials from the cabinet on the left. However, we can visit the Oracle Pool again if you want to. Although it's gross and I find it strangely fascinating. Can we? Can I save? I am Phoenix right now. Miss Ada, do you know of the cat parasite? Cat parasite? It's also known as I bloody can't read it. Toxoplasma gondi? I don't know. Uh, no, it's not. It's not about. It's not about the cat. It's in the books and dead in life. It's not. It's just another cat, Rose. Making more extroverted and prone to taking risks. The hypothetical cat lover loses her self-preservation and sees as a result of the parasite influence. The host has also have a larger prob probability of having schizophrenia. Does it have a connection to the oracle? Yes. Recently I found that the oracle is extremely similar to it. Well, I would go... I, I'm, I'm already crazy as well and I have two cats. But they aren't a parasite. They're just... kitties. Maybe my parasite is my love to them. Maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> 
I tried implanting it into rodent brains and did in fact the subject were more likely to exhibit fearlessness and extroverted behavior. And simply enough, the research I've read on the pearls had reported that the infected males were more prone to dress sloppily, but the females tended to wear jewelry and expensive dresses. Also when tested on rodents, the males had a significant increase of testosterone and exhibited more arrogant behavior, but the females became more docile and submissive, less violent. But then again, we foolish to generalize how the individuals hosting their parasite. Humans are complex beings. Indeed. Still a feli f feline parasite. I have a second thought about it touching cats from now on. No! Touch all cats! <laughs> d d do not touch all cats. Just pet all cats. On the head. Like pet, pet, pet. Be lovely. <laughs> as long as you wash your hands and don't touch the feces, you are unclear. Why would I touch cat feces? I want. I don't want to fe t touch feces. Maybe that wasn't very reassuring. Okay. So we got something about the cat parasite. Here it is. God in a jar. Mm, it seems empty. It's a parasite. Of course, you can't see it. However, it's desperate for a host. Despite it being this small, it's, it's, it's extremely powerful. Still, it might drive you crazy. Eat you from the inside. Are you sure it's worth the risk? No. No, I don't want this. I have to find Wiltshire. I'm scared. I have to find Wiltshire. Please, let's call it off. I have to find Wiltshire. It is. If you say so, let's get started then. Right. What do I need to do? I'll operate on you and insert a part of the oracle into your brain. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be so great. I have to put you to sleep first. It's a brain surgery after all. <laughs> Drink this. Okay, will you manage by yourself? You do not believe in my abilities, do you? Sorry. I can't help but be skeptical. I know. There's no guarantee your brain won't reject the any substance and your mind too might not recover after this. I'll prescribe your suppressant drugs to prevent this parasite rapid reproduction, but I can't promise anything. Nothing about this is fine. Find me, my mind supplies. Fine. I have to find Wiltshire. Let's start then. I close my eyes. Hey, you're shaking. Are you scared? Not. I am. I feel Felix Onika reassuringly grip my shoulder. I'm so pathetic. I squeeze my eyes shut, trying to calm down. But then a thought occurs to me. I'm no longer alone. For the first time since I woke up in this world, someone is there for me. Even if I mis make a mistake, there's someone to guide me. If I fail, there will be someone to remember I existed. Seth is here. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> that was eerie. Let's not repeat that. Well, well, well. <laughs> I told you not to repeat that, please. What do you have fear? <laughs> A cute little mind library. You will deny it. But in fact believe that we are some kind of a god. <laughs> A Deus Ex Machina to help you achieve your goals. <laughs> Could you please stop that noise? <laughs> but more than that, you're terrified of us. <laughs> terrified of Charlotte Wiltshire. <laughs> Say, how does it feel to watch all your classmates get turned to the mind's mincemeat? <laughs> They're all so, so nice to you, both bullies Miss Wiltshire all the time. <laughs> Why is that, we wonder? <laughs> and it was no ordinary bullying. After all, her story wasn't uh, R rated for anything, was it? <laughs> Just look at all those camera angles. <laughs> it's all her own fault, they cried. <laughs> you knew, yet did nothing to help. Because the truth is, you didn't like her at all, did you? <laughs> Threatening everyone like NPCs, putting herself above all of you, Miss which I was unpleasant, wasn't she? 
I try to speak, but all that comes out of my mouth are pain sounds. <laughs> Aw, too bad you can't counter your speech with a witty comeback, right? <laughs> all right, we don't mind giving you some freedom of speech. <laughs> <laughs> Oracle walks around the place, falling apart and reassembling all over again. <laughs> hey, class rep. <laughs> Why is the sudden determination to find Wiltshire? <laughs> Are you sure it's not mind control? I I don't know, but I'll find her and make it clear. I couldn't understand her during her lifetime. So maybe maybe I understand her in her afterlife. She seemed to know something I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you succeed at all? <coughs> I'll succeed no matter what. With Seth, it's possible. We made a deal. <laughs> oh, how lovely. <laughs> but how can you be sure that the puppeteer can be trusted? <laughs> it seems like you're quick to trust each passing stranger once they are remotely kind to you. <laughs> For all we know, they might be on Wiltshire's side. They're with me now. It's all that matters. <laughs> they might be simply curious. It's not like they're deeply invested in your character, having known you for a few hours. Charlotte's everyone's favorite girl. And look at you! You're obnoxious! Well, we know Scarlet from the second episode that she jumped down. Keep quiet. You're just a pest. <laughs> sure, sure. We'll shut up. Joker falls apart again, turning into a pulsating mass of organs. Lay down on the floor, curling into a ball. It's okay, I can do this. <laughs>